All right, I'm here with my buddy, the claw up the top. He's been in here since the first slope style here. One of the oldest guys here, or the oldest guy here, and still swinging. What's going on there, buddy? Yeah, it's been pretty rad through all the years, uh, seeing all the progression and through the sport and all through the courses. And man, it's uh, it's pretty gratifying to be here, even though I haven't been able to ride every event, I've been at every event. And, you know, I've had my fair shares of ups and downs, and I've, I've been close a couple times. I've had a couple seconds, a couple thirds, and um, here I am, hanging with the boys, trying to give her another go. Um, my first real mountain bike was a specialized rock hopper. I remember, I think it was like my 14th birthday or 15th birthday. And uh, yeah, so I had that and then I also had a BMX. And I also, um, what I really wanted to do was motocross. Uh, I did two or three races of motocross racing. And on the third race, I snapped my frame. And while I was saving up to get a new one, um, I took my BMX into the shop and the shop owner in Nanaimo was like, hey, you should come out and race BMX. And I did, and then I kind of fell away from the, the motocross dream and went and did BMX racing for years and years. But along the way, I also dibbled and dabbled into mountain biking whenever I could afford to get a bike, and then I'd end up breaking it. The racing thing, you know, as usual, any BMX racer, you get bored and start doing dirt jumps and making your own stuff. And, Started learning tricks, and one thing led to another. Did the BMX uh, dirt jump thing. Started getting uh, pretty good at that. Traveled around America uh, a little bit for that, and then the following year, I got accepted into uh, school, tool and die technician. And then I was just kind of, you know, in school and just doing the normal thing. And while I was doing that, my brother had gotten into mountain biking, and I was sitting around, and it was pouring rain, typical Vancouver day, and he was always going on riding. I was like, man, I want to ride too. This sucks, you know. I'm freaking, I used to ride mountain bikes. Like, I can ride those trails. I, I got my hands on a mountain bike, and and uh, the rest is history. You know, I started really, really enjoying it. And then as soon as I think it was about a year later, Bjorn Inga from Crank heard that I was uh, into mountain biking, and he's, he, you know, he needed some uh, some athletes in the film, and and I was like, he asked me, I was like. Yeah, sure, I'll come on a trip. No worries. You know, trail building for me is is not only therapeutic, but at the same time, it's, it's awesome to have trails to ride. Because I've always grown up in a small town, and I've always had to build whatever I want to ride. I've never had the opportunity to wake up and I say a town like Whistler and just go, oh, I'm just gonna run. That's never been a possibility to me. It's always been, if I want it, I have to make it happen myself. And that's probably why I've been a little bit more successful in my uh, career than others, just because they've, they've had it given to them. So they don't understand that you gotta actually make things happen. I think, you know, it's tough for a lot of professional athletes to, to have a, a social life and keep their head on their shoulders, you know, you have everything from your responsibilities to your successes and everything kind of compiling into your, in your psyche and it's, uh, it's tough for a lot of guys but, you know, for me, a lot of my grounding is the fact that I grew up in a small town um, and I still live here, you know, like I love all my old hometown friends and and uh, you know, like when I come home, you know, from say a big competition or something, you know, when I come home and I come back to hang out with my friends, you know, I leave that all, all behind. When I come home here, I'm just same dude that I grew up with with my friends, and that's that's really important for me, and that kind of keeps me, it totally keeps me grounded in terms of being normal. Because kids, they just don't understand that it's uh, it's not all just about what you can do on the bike. It's it's how you carry yourself in a conversation, that's how you can interact with team managers. Just because you can ride bikes doesn't mean you should get sponsored. You know, there's more to it than that. So it's uh, definitely a lot of work, a lot of work involved, but at the same time, you just gotta just remember that at the end of all that work, it's gonna be more fun. biggest things missing in my life would be people that do exactly what I do. 
when I get to go session with friends, like I learn so much. And those sessions are so far and few between for me. It's, um, it sucks. You know, like I have tons of people to push me for downhill stuff, but uh, in terms of like slope stuff and stuff I want to build and like push myself on, you know, like the guys that I ride with, they're like, I don't want to do that. So just make it better. I just, I have a, you know, all of us similar athletes alike. We have tons of ideas in our head. We like, I still have dozens of things that I want to go do in the forest and, and jumps and tricks. And it's like, I have a lot of things I want to get done. And that's what keeps me motivated. And every time I learn something new, it's like, it's an achievement. You look at some of the guys like my mentors, you know, especially mountain biking has been like, uh, like Richie Schley and, you know, you know, and Hans Ray, you know, like those two guys, they've definitely helped me a lot out in the, in the beginning. And I've definitely one of the few guys that actually listened to them, like when I first started out. And so there's a lot, like he's 44 years old and still shredding and riding, right? So like that, when, when we're finished uh, trying to compete and, you know, get crazy and all that stuff, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, things are over. Yeah, a lot of people wonder about the uh, the inspiration after doing it for so many years, and I say the same answer all the time. It's the fact that I ride a bike for a living. I get to, you know, make my own schedule. I can go out, hang out with friends, ride bikes, and have fun. It's like 